Hello everyone, N3FJZ here. I had a question about my uh, link coupled trans match and I thought I'd do a short video and also um, make a reference to an earlier video I did of the whole antenna system in trans match. But uh, I published a schematic of my specific um, build of this trans match in the antenna system uh, as a schematic and I uh, it's embedded in the uh, comments there and I'll sh I'll uh, provide a link to that okay um, it's um, power wise I've only transmitted up to 50 watts with this and the tuning capacitor is just a standard small one of the uh, $30 units you can find on uh, various websites. Uh, if, of course, if you wanted to run higher powers, then probably this would have to be scaled up in you know, a large capacitor and much more significant uh, isolation of the, uh, of the internals here. But um, anyway, just to demonstrate, let's see if this QSO is still going on. Oh, here we go. This here I got my uh, solder smoke direct conversion receiver project going here. I'm still working on that, but in the meantime, I thought I'd include it. Uh, this is a demonstration because it was pretty interesting as far as not only does it match the antenna for transmission, it, it acts as a sort of a secondary bandpass filter because you can peek it up. And let's see if I can demonstrate this here if this uh, person comes yeah, back. Yeah, Roger, with. Roger. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. And, um, you see here the that, um, signal yeah. level is very low now. You peek it up right here. All right, well, anyway, I think I'm going to go to bed there, John, but um, I'm really glad that you uh, gave me a call and we can have this discussion. And uh, we'll see what happens there. I'm really thinking about it. So um, have a good morning. All the best. And uh, we'll talk again. Oscar November. Okay. And uh, this is a, a small wood frame that I cut out of quarter inch Baltic birch plywood with a scroll saw. And uh, let me just disconnect all this here. This is something I just hacked together. I, I really should probably do something more formal as far as packaging this up. But as you can see, the, the, uh, the capacitor is nothing special, just standard old capacitor. And then uh, I have my various taps here where they go under the uh, transceiver coil. I have to bring out the the taps out to these wires here at the bottom, uh, but the other ones can just attach right here on the surface. <clears throat> and this here is the transceiver coil. And I had this little markings here. I guess you could uh, put this in a box and you could either solder actual taps at these locations, bring it out to a switch, or uh, maybe provide alligator leads. And the way I use it, I just bring my ladder ladder line on these two points and then I use the clips here I just tap it down of course the locations are specific for my antenna and length of uh, ladder line going out to the antenna which is about 65 feet it's a f 80 meter full wave loop horizontal I think the highest points about 25 feet and the lowest points about 10 and uh, do pretty good as far as uh, uh, NVIS is concerned. I get up, I could hear and maybe transmit up to about 500 miles. And on 80 meters, it's much closer in. 
Okay, I hope you found this informative and also um, I wanted to document it for myself just so that uh, I'll have something documented for this. Okay, uh, look at the des in the description, you'll see a link to a, my, a web page I put, just put up with the schematic and a link to this video and to the original video. 7-3 everyone, keep building. Have a great day, and we'll talk later.